So guys, we have uh, the second match up for this game. Spawning in the top right is Jobless as the Orange Terran. It is a rematch of TBT on Zelnaga Caverns. Um, if Jobless wins this game, he will progress to the next round and knock out OGS Hyren. But if Hydrin can pull this off, he will advance. And spawning in the bottom left is OGS Hyren. So, TBT is Zelnaga Caverns. Now, sawing last play, we did see that OGS Hyren did kind of fail with that early blue he flame Hellion drop. Which did not go well for uh, you know him at all. He only got a few SCV kills. Didn't really accomplish anything with it. And then just got walked into by that Thor build. That just all-in Thor build with the Marines and the SCVs by Jobless. So Jobless played that perfectly. He defended that Hellion drop amazingly. Lost so few units. And then was able to just recover and walk straight into Hiren's base for the win. So hopefully we're seeing another you know event like this. Now, the way the tournament works, guys, it's a best of three loser picks. Hyren did pick Zelnaga again, so if he wants to play the same map again, that is fine with him. And, which, you know, kind of boring, but nothing we can do about it. Now, we do have Jobless moving out with his mic. Hey, uh... Sorry, dude, sorry. Now Hyren is walling off again. He is getting that gas the same time as last time. So we are seeing similar builds from Hyren, and hopefully this time he can execute it a little better. I mean, I myself am a Master League Terran player, so I understand the build he was trying to do, but it was so poorly executed last round that um, it was really questionable as to why he was doing that. So we have the SCV pull, a little bit of harassment on the barracks. They pulled two SCVs there. I don't know if that was necessary, but... You gotta do what you feel comfortable with. We do have to transfer guys into gas for Hyren, and if we look in uh, Jobless's base, you know everything's pretty much going the same. Um, we had Hyren queue up another a second SCV or the 16th SCV, but he, you know, he's a little late on that orbital command because of that, and he ended up canceling that SCV when I was halfway through finishing. So a little bit of a fail there on Hyren's part, not doing that great of a job right now. Um, if he is from Clan OGS, he's not living up to their, you know, prestigious name. Right now, we still don't have second gas from either player. Actually, we do. Hyren's gas, second gas, is almost finished. And we are seeing another tech play from him. We are getting that factory down. And hopefully we're seeing something a little better than last time. If he's trying the same build again... We hope he can execute it slightly better. But we have a proxy barracks coming from Jobless. He is going all in here. Um, what an amazing feat to see in a Master League tournament. I love seeing stuff like this. It makes for interesting matchups. So we do have more Marines and SCVs rallied down here. And since OGS Hyren is teching up, this could do a lot of damage really quick if we don't do anything to stop it. Now we are moving this barracks over. We will be putting this guy down on a tech lap. And if he's going Hellions, this could do a lot of damage. Early all-in builds with Marines can do so much damage against this Blue Flame Hellion build because you have to wait so long for it. And we are getting our starport. Now once this factory lands, we'll be able to see what Hyren is actually going. And he is going Hellions again. So we're seeing Blue Flame Hellions again. We have this reactor go or tech lab going on in the specs. We have another barracks right here, and we are stationed outside his base. And this is not good for Hyren. These Hellions won't be able to stop so many Marines and Marauders just floating into his base. If Hyren doesn't leave his base soon to scout this, this is not good for him. If I was Jobless, I'd pull this SCV back. You know, you don't want him to walk out here and see this. You want to have, like, one Marine maybe stationed here. You don't want this to be given away, because if I was to walk out of this base right now, I'd be like, okay, he's doing some cheesy all-in build. Now, we do have Marauders on the way. Concussive Shell is halfway to finish, and probably going to be doing a Concussive Shell timing attack. We do have one Heli out, a second one on the way. We do have this Banshee coming out as well. So if we can engage before the Banshees and Hellions are on the field, it's pretty much game over. So we do have a small force moving in here. We are catching one of the Hellions doing half its life right now, and we are moving in. SCVs up here. We need to focus fire down this building. We have the SCVs being pulled. Hellions moving forward. Sniping one of them. Trying to repair that one. Will OGS Hyren be able to keep alive? No, he does lose it. And OGS Hyren is forced to pull all his SCVs. He canceled that Banshee, which was probably a misclick because now he doesn't have to beat. And there's the GG from OGS Hyren automatically losing. And wow, game two goes to Jobless. Jobless is moving on to the next round. What a, what a weird build. Like... This is the key to scouting, guys. You walk outside your base, you see that coming, and... Man. Well, good job to the jobless uh, playing that perfectly, guys. And uh, next game will be casted soon, so we'll see you there.